You guys, in some of my videos, it's going to sound like I'm outside and the wind is blasting me. It's because actually I had positioned my camera right underneath of a fan and not even thinking that <laughs> it would blow the air around and that my camera would pick up the sound. So I apologize in advance that it sounds like you're having a blustery day when you listen and watch my videos. <laughs> Hi friends, thanks for joining me today. I went to an estate sale yesterday and I feel like I scored big time. So I can't wait to show you everything that I got. We're gonna start with the simple stuff first. So this actually, it's a little bunch of flowers as you could see most likely and um, I paid 25 cents for it. And it, it's, I think it's supposed to go around like a, a candle, uh, you know, because it's this round thing here. But I will be plucking these off of here and creating something with it. So I thought that was great for 25 cents. I also got this little tiny funnel for 25 cents. And look at the color, I love it. It's actually quite old. And um, I figured it's so tiny and could be perfect for paints and things. Now, the next thing I found was this beautiful wooden bowl. And actually, I didn't get it for myself. I got it for my daughter. It's a surprise. She doesn't even know I got that for her. I got, for 25 cents, this tiny little pack of cards. And actually, this deck has never been shuffled. And I'm really excited about it because it has really cute pictures on inside. And actually, the I think it's the clubs. Um, have a, a bit of a different pattern than what I've seen before and so it might indicate the age of this but I want to show you guys so that's the I'll zoom in on this when I edit the video but that's the clubs and they look a bit different to me than what I've seen on other cards and this deck is called mascot patience and it has a number 17 on it. I, if you guys know anything about, if you know about cards and you know anything about that, please let me know. Then this is a Pinochle deck. I, I haven't played that before, uh, but I got this for 25 cents also. You can see it's quite old as well, and I'm sure well used and loved. And it has every, it's even got instructions how to play the game and everything. So I know a lot of you make altered cards and uh, journaling tucks and stuff like that. So I'll be very excited to be able to join you all now with that sort of crafting. And then I got another deck of cards also for 25 cents and they have these wonderful illustrations. I'm gonna get closer so you can see. Look at these cute illustrations. I mean, it's just too much. Aren't they so cute? Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> so obviously it's a golf theme, but um, you know, how fun. They're just very fun because the illustrations are just so fun. And I got more cards. So this, this is two decks of cards in here. They obviously quite vintage. Uh, this is a velvety green case that they have come in and it slides open, and they must have got uh, the cards on a, I wanna say this is an old looking cruise ship, and it says more McCormick lines. So yes, that would be a cruise line. So maybe I'll have to Google that particular cruise line and learn, whoops, and learn a little bit more about it, kind of see maybe what years that, the, that line ran. So anyway, that was fun. That's it for the cards. Well, that's it for those types of cards. Then I got a bunch of uh, cards. Some are Christmas, some are birthday, some are just, you know, this one's a thank you note. I'm sorry I'm holding them upside down. I just realized that. Um, anyway, tons of cards and actually I didn't pay a cent for them. The lady was nice and it was the end of the sale and so she said I could just have them. So I was thrilled about that. Then I got this and this is the Lustercraft stainless steel cookware set pamphlet 
and it is dated 1955. And in here are some recipes and pictures um, and some food items. So I, I just thought the nostalgia of it was wonderful, which is why I chose to get it. And actually, I believe that she, she actually gave me that too. So, all right, now our next little item, vintage item, is this Carnation Cookbook by Mary Blake. And this is dated also, let's see, it's printed in the United States. Oh, I thought it was dated, but I don't see a date in it. But a lot of the stuff in here is dated about 1955. So I'm going to guess that that's about right. But you can see it's got, oops, you can see it's got some illustrations and recipes and, and things like that in it. So in menus and, you know, all that good stuff. And I have not made a cooking journal uh, yet but I have watched some of my friends make them, especially um, Sherry at Turquoise Streaming. She has made several and she makes them so cute. I was thinking of her when I picked up these little cooking items. And then this is Mary Dunbar's favorite recipes. And this also we can see is, is uh, vintage, it's dated and can you see, I'm sorry, I'm not holding it in the screen. I should probably shift my chair. This is a picture of a bunch of women cooking and uh, you know, even just being able to look at the stove, at the table and the sink and everything's just very different than, than it is now. So that's really cool and there's recipes in here and um, you know, some pictures and stuff like that. So it's, I just, it's really neat. On the back it says, the coffee brown jewel car in front of your home is the sign of a smart shopper, Jewel Tea Company. That's amazing. It says the most complete coffee service in America. That's amazing. That's, <laughs> that's really cool. So I'm going to zoom in on that for you guys too. So there's that. And then we have Aunt Jenny's Old Fashioned Christmas Cookies. And I, oh dated 1952. So there's another fun one. I love it so much. Anyway, I, I won't be disassembling these until I've read through each one of them <laughs> to make sure that that's what I want to actually do with them. And then we've got cooking ideas with portable electric appliances. And just look at the picture. I love it so much, particularly that coffee pot. It is wonderful. So this is beautiful pink paper inside. Beautiful, beautiful. And uh, some recipes. So that's a lot of fun. Then look at this. This is absolutely a beautiful picture on here. And it is dated 1949. I love it so much. And I love that her apron has cherries on it. That's the best. So this has lots of pictures in it. Oops, <laughs> as I missed them all. Uh, lots of pictures in it and some recipes. So that's really a fun piece to have. And then to top off our cooking extravaganza, we have the Norman Rockwell Illustrated Cookbook. And uh, it says Classic American Recipes. And this is dated, this is a little bit newer. Uh, this is dated 1987. And there are not only recipes, but there are Norman Rockwell paintings throughout the book. So that's a lot of fun. And uh, this is not something I would disassemble. Um, I really do need to get my Etsy shop up and running, and so I need to take time to that. This is probably something I would sell in the Etsy shop because, you know, people collect his work and, um, you know, it's just very special. So, I also picked up a roll of this. I don't know that we would call it thread, but it's definitely not twine. It's very soft, it's probably 100% cotton, and I know that the lady made doilies with it. So um, I picked it up for tags and things because I don't know how to make home 
homemade doilies and things like that. And then I also got this, and I, I believe that these were 25 cents each, which I thought was fantastic. Then I got this, this has a music note on it. I will try to zoom in on that. And this would be good. My vision was to be able to put that on a piece of fabric that was on a tassel. And the same for these. I feel like I could add these to tassels. So that was kind of my goal. With, I got two of those and they were each 25 cents each. So I thought that was good. I do need to check and see if this gold rope here is actually real gold because it hasn't turned at all. So I wonder if she had broken a necklace and then utilized it to make whatever this was for her, which I don't know. It used to be an earring here, this part of it. And then there, you know, somebody drilled a hole in it and then she added this. So I'm not sure exactly what's going on there, but that might actually be real gold. So that's all the regular sort of stuff. And then I hit the jackpot when it came to lace and linen and all of that. You can't even believe it. And I'm gonna get up close so you can see this. Look at the detail on that lace. Absolutely beautiful. I got several of these beautiful lace, I believe they're handkerchiefs, still with the tie on it and backed with the paper. Never undone. You can see that there's some stain here. I am going to put them through the wash and then I will treat the stains to see if I can get them out. Next I have some linen and it was marked that it was a tablecloth for a card table. So it is small, but look at the detail. Look at the detail on the edge. So, and then there's, there's all these details as well. Another absolutely beautiful piece of linen. Look at the detail. It's just absolutely gorgeous. This is a pink satin placemat and it is dirty, it's stained. So again, I am going to try to clean that and get the stains out of it. This is one of my favorite things that I picked up is this dainty little handkerchief with the details on it. This is another one of my favorites because it is a white color and yet this detail here has gray in it and I just, it's just beautiful to me. Another gorgeous one. Look at it. It's got an initial and then it's got the pink on it. I love it. All right, then we have several of these. I believe these are, somebody would use this to knit together like a doily that you'd put on your table or something. And then this, I'm not sure exactly what's going on here, um, but I could tell you that a piece of it is cut out. So I wonder, do you buy this whole sheet and then cut it out and then create your own doilies? And then I have a project that she had started and did not quite finish, but I could definitely use that. Here are more of these little, um, I'm not sure what we call them. I don't, I don't know if they're called doilies too. I have no idea. Wait till you see this. This is stunning. I think she might have made this. This is absolutely stunning. I'm gonna move up close so you can see the detail. Can you even get over how gorgeous that is? Yeah, it's amazing. There's the center of it right there. Okay, so this is quite a large thing and I I would have originally thought that that was a hanky. Oh, I think I showed you one of these already. I would have thought it was a hanky, but it was way too big. So I've decided that most likely it was a dinner napkin. A couple of, I believe her homemade things because I had found a bag full of thread that matched this texture. So this is a beautiful, beautiful doily. And I purchased one of the things out of that bag. Um, that she made this with, and here's another beautiful doily. How intricate, how amazing it is. Look at that, it's so beautiful. Here's another one of those gorgeous ones that I, I just can't even, this is literally breathtaking. This is a bigger one of those, and sorry, it's shaking a little because I have the fan on in here. You guys know I live in Florida, it's hot as heck. 
and so I have fans on all the time. But look at the detail. I mean, an unbelievable. A large doily here, nice big round one. Let me move out so you can see more of it. Hopefully you can see that. I would say this is about a medium sized one. This is, I would say, small but not tiny. Try to hold it up for you, so dainty. This matches the placemat that I showed you. It's pink and everything, but it has like this flap. So I don't know if it's supposed to hang off the table or what, but it's beautiful. So this is quite a large doily coming up here. Quite large and very nice. And I'm gonna get, I'm sorry, I keep standing in the light. Here is a very, very large doily. I guess this was probably going to be a tablecloth or maybe just, you know, a nice big piece that went in the center of the tables. Or if she had a round table, like a small round one, maybe it went in that. And then another small. Oh my goodness, okay. You guys need to tell me what these are. All right, they're these beautiful squares. I'm gonna get up close so you can see the detail. Look at these beautiful squares. A linen, obviously, but then look at the back. What, what goes in here? Can you guys please tell me what goes in there? I, I really wanna know. I didn't know if it was a, a smelly good sash or what. Okay, so I got a handful of these, but let me just show you one so you can see the detail. Look at it. It's beautiful. I, I don't know, again, is this for the top of a table or something? And I'm showing you the back, here's the front. Beautiful. And then, I mean, what a score on doilies. If you're into doilies, man, this is the, and this one seemed like it was hanging because like it, it's shaped kind of funny, but uh, I feel like I'm tossing a pizza crust. But anyway, there's that. And then I got two, I'm just gonna show you one, but I got two of these beautiful, it's either a dinner napkin or a hanky. There's the detail, look at that, isn't it beautiful? This is like the pink one I showed you, and I believe this to be a hanky, but it could be a dinner napkin. If you know, like if you, you know, if your parents had that, if your mom had that or something, and you know that it was a dinner napkin, let me know. I got one still in its original packaging, as you can see here. And then I, I got another one not in its packaging, but it might as well have been. It's still crisp as it can be. And then I got a cream colored Look at the detail. So friends, that was my vintage treasure haul from my estate sale in my neighborhood and I feel like I did really well. I hope you enjoyed seeing all those items. Thanks for watching. See you soon.